Okay. We are broadcasting from an undisclosed New Mexico location. <laughs> yes, an undisclosed New Mexico location. Every room has one of these Gideon's Bibles. Mm -hmm. So uh, what we do is we go to the beginning and we write once upon a time dot dot dot. Got that? Uh, once upon a time. Yeah, and then I like to put my sticker inside of it. Like this. The world needs more stickers. Yes, the world needs a lot more stickers. I got the... Now, if you see a Bible in your hotel, you should totally look for one of those stickers. <laughs> yes. And then you got one? Uh, take the one off the top. You, here, give me the camera. Okay, fine. I'll do now you, you are implicated as well. I'm an accomplice. Now, my sticker says, thank you ever so kindly. And I'm sticking it in the oh. back. I'm gonna have a knock on my door at two o'clock and we're sure. Ma'am, we have a report. Done. Well, how are they gonna know at three o'clock in the morning? They're gonna clean up the hotel room until tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> they don't ever check the books. <coughs> oh yeah, that's true. Huh? They don't ever read these Bibles. There's just churches everywhere. <laughs> Most Christians wait for somebody that, what's that else to read what's their that Bible to them. Leviticus, whatever, her, her, whose emissions are like horses and this <laughs> is like a donkey. What is that one? <laughs> we should write in the front. We should turn to Leviticus, whatever, or is it Ezekiel? Oh hell! I, I believe it's Ezekiel, what, actually. Right, Twenty-three something. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we'll leave him a note. Turn to the best part. <laughs> oh, and the Song of Solomon? I always thought that was like some crazy erotica. That yeah, it is. Them. It is. It's some hot shit. If you're into girl on boy sex. <laughs> All those girls on boys. Ugh. I just wish they would act gay in public at least. I know. It's so Terrible. blatant. Ugh. What's the end of that poem? But gay shouldn't be blatant. And it's by Pat Parker. Look it up. It's called, For the Straight Folks Who Don't Mind Gays But Wish They Weren't So Blatant. And the way it ends is, uh, uh, sure, I'll, about going back in the closet, sure, I'll go if you go too. But I'm polite, so after you. <laughs> she wrote that in 1970. Well, I still think that closets are for clothes. Fabulous. Or in my case, closets are for clothes, record collections, Halloween outfits, hats. I wish I had a closet. Paint. <laughs> I have a teensy tiny little closet and it's doing all kinds. I turned the whole back bedroom into closet. Well, you know, maybe we gay people wouldn't have to be so like obvious about it if they could just follow the Bible and pray in the closet. There you go. That's what that's closets what, are that's for. What it says, it says, there you go. It says, don't flaunt your faith like a hypocrite. Yep. It also says women should be silent in church. So what are we going to do? They can shut can? me up when I'm dead. Well, I mean, I'm talking about like Bachman, Michelle Bachman, and Joyce Myers. You know she wasn't going to win because that is a bull dyke if I ever saw one. That Joyce Myers. I don't know. <coughs> was, was Michelle Bachman that look in her eyes? Like she has that look in her eyes, like there's nobody home. I and know. I'm it's like, I'm like, it's all better living through modern chemistry. Even her hair, it's all chemicals. It's all her brain I is chemicals. Her eyes are chemicals. I actually think if, if I ever met Michelle Bachman in person, I might burst into tears because she's so freaking scary. I was gonna say burst into laughter, but I okay. might cry just like, don't hurt me, Bachman. <laughs> Stay back! Somebody get the torches yeah. and pitchforks. And that one just recently, that lawyer that just got busted for taking a minor to Canada to film her having sex with another woman. Did you hear about this? She's a lawyer for some Bible thumping, anti-gay marriage thing. She picked up a girl on Craigslist, an underage girl, honey, drove her to Canada to film her having sex with another girl. 
and they found weed on her and cocaine. And she's a bull dagger from day one. You should see this dyke. I'm gonna be a bull dagger. Oh, oh by the way, if you broadcast this, I can say bull dagger because I am one. But I don't want any straight cis men thinking, oh well, she said it, so I can say it too. No, this is our word. It's like the N word. We get to say it, not you. <laughs> If I was going to be a superhero, I would be Bull Dagger. Um, I am. Is it okay that I'm just kind of like, um, I don't know how to describe it. I'm attracted to beautiful people. Like, f like not physically, but like on a mental level. A diva. I, I'm a diva because <laughs> everyone should love me. <coughs> yeah, well, there's that narcissism thing you keep I talking gonna, about. I'm such a narcissist. <laughs> I can't afford to be a narcissist. It's too expensive hey, to be that self-involved. I think I got my hair dye color for like mm, 14 bucks on the internet. I'm so wanting to do that after the way people were looking at us in the restaurant so tonight. Bring you they would you chase so. me down the road with pitchforks no, and torches. No, that's bad. Oh uh, yeah. So we'll get you out of here. I mean, they're coming after me for having a bumper sticker. You know. I got that bumper. sticker. And it's like the tamest bumper sticker. What is it? If evolution is just a theory, then religion is just an opinion. They're all freaked out about it. Excuse well, me, it's right? just a dollar bumper sticker. You go to different parts of the world, even like different neighborhoods in the same community. Everybody's got a different religion. It doesn't Meaning say Jesus fucks babies. You know, it's not like it's not like one of those anti-theist fuck you, I hate your guts bumper stickers. I'll, I'll get Gary at Evolve Fish on that right away. Okay, what, Jesus fucks babies? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, he does custom bumper stickers. <laughs> Don't expect me to wear one. Lord have mercy. Oh, he does custom I'd have to take out the B and the F so it says Jesus fucks babies. Then they'd be all like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Which they are most of the time anyway. Look. I'd have to think of a really good one if I was going to do a custom. Yeah. Well, I'll think of something. I'll think of something. I'd, probably, I'd probably do the whole closets are for clothes. Fabulous, fabulous clothes. Mine would have something to do with a skid mark. Because I just... You know, I never say things like that. I never make, like, scatological or even sexual, like, fuck you kind of things. I hardly... Well, I do do it. But I hardly ever do it. You have to really make me mad. And the other day I saw that Hoven kid. Eric Hovind? The kid. Yeah. I saw him just lie through his ugly little yellow teeth. Well, God doesn't lie. And as he's talking, I march on over to Google, God plus lie. And there's reams of Bible verses where God sent them deceptive spirit and God deceived and and so I copied and pasted them and put them right in the comments of the videos. God doesn't lie. Well, your God does. I don't know. You know that that ain't even cherry picking. That ain't even wrong. <laughs> it's not even like they meant like. Uh, it's not even like you can interpret that incorrectly if he's like deceiving I people know. and it's written as he's deceiving people. And he looked so frantic. He looked so insecure. Go watch that video. It was an answer to Potholder because Potholder gave him the crocodile, the golden crocodile. <laughs> and he, he was all butthurt because he got a golden crocodile. And he's all, well, my God doesn't lie. Nee, nee, nee. But the look on, in his eyes was like, he was like a kid who got caught and was covering him, covering his ass. This is a miserable little bastard and immature. The true Puka did a thing about him and said, what's with the sound effects? Because it's like, e -ah, e -ah, e -ah, e -ah. the whole video is full of these stupid little childish and it's like, what did he say? Because it's like there's little fart noises and whistles and I'm like, Sick little freak. He doesn't believe a thing he's saying. He's doing it because he doesn't know what else to do because Lady didn't teach him how to do nothing except lie. I know what he is. There's a dozen of those little bastards out here. That's why I can't have kids, man. Too many, too many kids like that. Out oh, there. God, I got my boogers all misaligned. I have to arrange them again. Hold on. I touched my nose. <laughs> don't you hate it when your boogers don't fit right anymore? 